My name is Mrs. Peterson and I'm going to be your instructor today. We're here to work with clay and of course we all know clay is a natural product. It comes from the... Yeah. yeah and I'm Learning through art is something the City of St. Albert believes is enriching for all ages. Engaging kids in anything creative is vital for their development and it helps them learn in many, many subject areas. Um, this program in particular draws upon social studies so they get some really interesting learning about the artistic side of, um, of the Peruvian people. And look at this one. If I was an archaeologist, I'd be pretty excited, wouldn't you? And that's pretty awesome. So this is way before the Incan people. These programs are offered through the art gallery and see hundreds of students annually. In 2015 we did about 680 school programs just out of these studios alone. So, um, and, and that's, that's just school programming. Which the kids love. No math. Oh, that's a relief. <gasps> My favorite part was making the eyebrows. I put like a little circle, then I put some marks there. Uh, I made two more archers here to make it seem like there was something. Then I put some dots all around it. This enrichment wouldn't be possible without the help of the community through events like the Step Right Up Gala. All of the money raised at the gala, um, which was roughly about $25,000, yes. goes straight back into programming. So it helps us to subsidize programming for schools and for the community to keep admission costs very, very low to make it very, very accessible to the community. Everybody here is looking at exactly the same mask, but everybody sees something different. That's a good thing. So when we're working on our mask today, we want to make sure that we're using lots of our own ideas so that everybody's mask is going to look a bit different. Giving students the tools and letting their creativity roam. For Go, I'm Jordan Hurtner.